Hey guys, so I have decided to vlog my day. I have a really hard time making vlogs. I think for two different reasons. I think the appeal of vlogs is that they're like unscripted, they are like free flow, you see people in their natural element, and the perfectionist in me feels like, you know, in order for me to shoot a video, I have to have like my makeup done, my hair needs to look together, I need to not have pimples, and I need to be doing something interesting for the day. So that often prevents me from doing them. And the other thing is that I think the academic and researcher in me feels like a video needs to be educational, like I need to be teaching something in order for it to be worthwhile. But I'm putting both of those aside and just filming. Just gonna film today. Um, my little assistant guy is making noise on his little activity mat. So yeah, just gonna show you kind of how my day goes and, and we'll take it from there. If this is your first time here guys, hey what's up, hello, my name is Ijan Wakola and I like to combine beauty and brains with style and <laughs> substance. I also am the mother of a four month old who is just super cute and super sweet. He's just so precious, I'm like wash, I'm like wash. Wash, so I really need to wash my hair but I just, oh goodness, I can't. I cannot bring myself to wash it because when I took down my cornrows last week, I lost so much hair because of postpartum shedding and I'm just so, I'm like deathly afraid to wash it because I don't want to lose any more hair, but I have to. Today's not going to be the day where I wash it because I actually have to do other things today and it's going to be an all day process, so I'll probably wash it tomorrow, but I'm just like, ugh. I'm dreading it so much. So one of the questions that I get all the time is like how do I balance uh, motherhood with doing everything else that I have to do with my research, with vlogging, um, with being a wife. I need to make a separate video, like update video on like balancing, which I don't, don't really think it's balanced. I think it's more about like living harmoniously. Um, so I need to make a separate video, but two things that I think that you'll see now is that Jonathan and I kind of alternate or we both take responsibility for the child that we both created. So for example, like I am watching him now and Jonathan is doing a workout and as soon as he's done doing his workout and showers, then he's gonna take over and then I'm gonna have a chance to do a workout. So we just like share responsibilities. And I, I maybe because I don't know, I just feel like it's like not that hard. If you have a partner who like shares responsibility, I think sometimes dads don't step up, but also I think sometimes moms kind of like keep ba like hoard babies all to themselves and don't feel like the dad should do anything. But in our household, everybody made this baby, so everybody's gonna take care of this kid. Um, I also really believe in like independent play, so we have him in this play thing and he just lays here and does whatever he wants to do. And if he's bored, I'm kidding, if he's bored, I obviously do something, but it can keep him entertained for some time. So um, having just like little, we don't have a lot of toys, but the ones that we do, uh, I think do a good job of keeping him like occupied so that we have time to do other things, whether that's make a meal, do a quick workout, a workout, ha, do a workout or to get some work done. I think those are a few things that help give me time so that I feel like I can do all the different things that it is that I want to get done in a given day. So I must have not uh, switched sides with feeding last night because this one is so much harder than this one. Right now, breast feeding struggles. Um, but the kid just put him down while he's a little drowsy for a nap. So I'm going to try and get a workout in. I don't work out every day. Um, try to work out like twice a week, but. Sometimes it's just once, sometimes it's three times. Uh, I normally like to go to the gym, but I've been doing um, yoga at home, and I actually just recently discovered this YouTuber named Natasha that um, has these fitness videos, but I really like her because she actually looks like she's struggling while she's doing the workout. And I, I don't know, I sometimes get annoyed when people are working out and they're just like, burpees and they don't look like they're breathing heavy like I am and she looks like she's actually working. So um, that is who I am going to be following today. So
You ready to eat? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. All right, so it is uh, 10, almost 10.15. It's actually a pretty decent start. If I don't go to bed on time, I will start my day around 12, which is like not good, but um, worked out, showered, sat down. Now I'm going to just make my little to-do list um, for the day. I usually try to accomplish like three max things. So try to accomplish something, well, try to accomplish something research-wise, something blog-wise, and then an extra thing. So today I, um, I'm working on an article, but I'm actually like taking a class on Coursera on like how to publish a scientific article. So I wanna finish week two of that class blog-wise. I have a, today's Wednesday, so today's a post day. Um, I think I've already done the post though, but I just need to, and I've already edited the, I don't need to do anything with the blog. I think I have some emails to send, um, but that's all. And then I have a couple new business ideas, so I um, want to kind of write a formalized plan for one of them, and then I need to send a questionnaire to a client for another thing. So. That's what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do them in, I'm gonna finish the course first. I try to do my academic research work first um, to get that out of the way. And then, yeah, then we'll go from there, see how the day goes. research work that I wanted to do, finish the blog work that I wanted to do. I'll do the rest of the stuff that I need to do after dinner. So usually around like five is when the kid will go down for his third nap <laughs> of the day. And that's usually like when I'll take a break, get up, stretch, um, do something around the house. I was supposed to clean the kitchen, um, but yeah, I lost. I lost steam. So <laughs> I did want to talk about something that um, has been on my mind lately, which is like how to deal with uncertainty. Um, and someone had actually asked me on Instagram, like how I am kind of feeling during this time, especially having a newborn, um, being in a different country, like being so far away from my family. And I just wanted to share some things that have been helping me not lose my mind <laughs> during this crazy time. And I think basically what it boils down to is a combination of planning, but not over planning. It's so like flexible planning and also just like trust and faith. So the reason why it's pretty easy for me to like feel like, you know, things are under control, things are in control, I think really has to do with my faith. But I mean, to be honest, like, I am very much a type A person. Like I'm very organized, I'm very on top of things. And I used to really have like really detailed plans for every single aspect of my life. Um, and I've kind of stopped doing that because like 10 years ago, if you told me that I would be living in Kenya, married to Jonathan with a son and um, be a full-time blogger, with a PhD in history of public health, like I would have told you you're completely out of your mind. Like the only part of that that maybe would have made sense is if like the PhD part, because 
10 years ago what was 10 years ago that was 2010 that was what sophomore year of co no no the phd part actually also would not have made sense that was sophomore year of college um i was pre-med in college so i was still planning on being a doctor i was dating this other guy who i swore i was gonna marry and have four kids with and we were gonna live in new york um and he is gonna be an investment banker and i was gonna be a pediatrician and we were gonna like live in a brownstone um and so i had this entire plan for my life and obviously that's not how my life went um at that time i was not at all thinking about blogging i hadn't even yet cut my hair 10 years ago i think i was transitioning right yeah i think i transitioned sophomore year and then cut it you know the summer of sophomore year oh my gosh it's about to be 10 years since i was natural wow cool um but long story short i had a plan i had a very very detailed plan and God completely like ripped that plan up and threw it in the garbage. And for a while, like once those once those things started to not happen, like once I decided not to um, continue with my pre-med studies and instead do public health, I felt really lost. Like once that guy and I broke up, I felt really lost. Um, when I started blogging, I, I didn't necessarily feel lost because I was just doing it as a hobby, but as it became more and more serious and I started to question whether I was supposed to be devoting as much time to it, um, compared to devoting time to my studies. I also was lost and confused um, when Jonathan and I were dating long distance. I was lost and confused. I just had no idea that my life would look the way it does now years and years ago. So I say all of that to say, and I'm grateful for it, by the way, like I am so happy that the plans that I made 10 years ago <laughs> did not work out. It did not work out whatsoever. My favorite, favorite scripture is Jeremiah 29 11 um, and I just love the fact that you know even though we have plans like ultimately God knows the plans like his plans are far better than the plans that we have that we think we have um, so that is essentially like what is keeping me calm right now I'm remembering and reminding myself of the fact that in the past I have thought that I understood what it was that I needed I thought that I knew what I wanted and I made plans accordingly and those plans shifted but everything still turned out okay this year I was supposed to host the safe journey retreat for my 30th birthday I haven't officially canceled the retreat yet but it's looking more and more likely that it's gonna be canceled and at first i was kind of like well then what was the point of the of like having the idea of having the retreat like why did god give me the idea in the first place if like COVID is gonna like screw everything up but then i remembered you know this is not the first time that my plans have changed it's not the first time that god has changed my plans um and at the end of the day everything will still work out it will still be fine during this time i do recognize that it could be a lot harder to feel um like this time makes sense or like what we're going through right now has some purpose like if you have suffered loss whether that's loss of income whether that's loss of a loved one um, whether that's like just loss of the way of life as we knew it before um but that's what's really just keeping me calm what's keeping me sane is that I know that there's a greater plan, there's a bigger purpose, um, and the plans that I had made for myself, you know, in the past couple of months, um, the anniversary trip we were supposed to take, the fact that my mom was supposed to come visit, um, all of the plans that we had made and are now canceled and are now shifted, whatever ends up happening at, at the end of the day, like everything will still be fine. So yeah, I think from a faith perspective, that's really helping me not be super stressed out during this time. And the second thing that's helping me during this time is that the nature of who I am, like I am the kind of person who has my hands in a lot of different things. I have a tons of different like side hustles and side hustle ideas and potential side hustles. So, um, you know, the kind of the first thing that happened, there's like talk in influencer circles about how influencers need to reduce their rates because brands don't have money so you should reduce your rates um and i kind of like i didn't i don't i disagree that, that needs to happen but more importantly you know there have been brand collaborations that were paused or canceled or postponed um so yeah my source of income has been um very uncertain and up in the air and just like will i get paid i am now 
who knows <laughs> but i'm trying not to be i mean one we have we have savings we plan for this year to be flexible um financially because i didn't know how long of a maternity leave that i would need and want to take but also like i just I'm, like i'm working on lots of different things you know like okay fine the influencer market like is down right now because businesses don't have money to pay influencers due to covid understandable what else can i do to make money like what else what other skills do i have that i can capitalize on um so i have been working on as i said earlier like the different projects the two different two two new businesses um that i have had in the back of my mind for a long time but now is just the perfect time to start executing them because what else am I don't want to do like what else am I gonna do <laughs> I don't know if I can say that my parents instill like the side hustle mentality in me I don't think so my parents didn't really side hustle my parents were entrepreneurs and worked for themselves but I think this idea of like do a little bit of this and do a little bit of this and do a little bit of this like really was harnessed by the fact that I was blogging like while I was doing my PhD for the entire time um, and I just got comfortable with the idea of doing multiple things at once. So for me now, like it's, it's nothing to me to do some interior design work here and some styling work here and, um, some grad school coaching here and blogging here and writing research papers here. Like I, that's my brain can work that way. Um, so that's also helping me feel like calmer. I haven't, you know, made income in those areas yet to be honest but just knowing that I have other skills that I could capitalize on um like if if ish hits the fan <laughs> is keeping me it's also providing me with a sense of security and certainty so I think that's what I would recommend if you're feeling like really uncertain during these times like one thing you can do is really just like lean on if you believe in God if you believe in a divine power in your life like just lean on the idea that things will like, work together for your good and then secondly like really dig in and think about the different skills that you have the different the different things that you can do I feel like this is a perfect time to work on um, the various ideas that you've had kind of like lingering in the back of your mind and haven't had the chance to um, implement them because you you know were like working all the time so if you're no longer working then you might as well work on that business idea that you've had for a long time now it's a perfect time to do so so that's kind of like where my mind is at that is why I am um, doing okay doing okay right now it is definitely tough um but more or less i'm all right i also have my coloring book <laughs> that i scribble in every now and again let me show you a page i've only done on this page i've only done a couple a couple scribbles um maybe i'll do some coloring now maybe maybe i will do ow crap oh god oh Oh my gosh, these things are sharp and I just jabbed my thing. Oh, I hope these things don't have lead in them or something. Oh, goodness. That really, really hurt. Wow. Talk about a mega fail. That, that really took a turn, but that is the end. I think I'm just going to color and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.